know guys that are that guy that are just like, yeah, come, I eat the whole fish box. Like, yo, that's mental for me. Like. Hi, I'm Simon Reynolds and I'm back. New season, new dates. And to be honest with you, I'm not impressed with the dating scene. I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. I've given some high scores. Hey. I thought we might as well do the date properly. Ah, oh, see, I like this. And I've definitely given some low scores. So, like, I'd just say being as Caribbean Lengers with nice jugs. Oh, my God. It's time to find a man that can tickle the boxes. Do you know what? There wasn't actually any red flags. Wow. This is grilling. Yeah, I'm Fumes the Engineer. I'm here to... What is this, a date? Date, yeah. <laughs> I'm on a date. <laughs> nah, I do dates, but I'm very private, like, so I say, yeah, this is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Private, private life. Do you think you can handle the grilling? We'll have to see, it. I guess I'm here, innit? <laughs> I'm ready as I'm gonna be. Hello, hello. What's your name? Fumes. Sorry, Anne. Nice to meet you. You look nice. Thank you. So do you. Thank you very much, darling. Oh, he's oh, got a really sexy voice. Um, tell me about you. Tell me about you. Um, Go on, I asked you first. What do you want to know? Beautiful lady, ma'am. You know what I mean? Nice smile. Done herself nicely. See how the vibe goes, see how the night goes, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? Where are you from? Do music from West London originally. Half Jamaican, half Grenadian. What else do you want to know? What do you do for fun? Bit of a workaholic, you know, I won't even lie. Unless I'm going on a holiday, it's more in my head. I, I, I struggle to get out of work mode. Oh, really? Just yeah. work, work, work? Yeah, like, even when I'm having fun, I'll be sitting there thinking about the next plug being or the next this, that, that I can do, the next business opportunity. So, yeah, I'm kind of like, I struggle with that. Yeah, I need the balance. Mm. But you're ambitious then? 100%. I like it's the that. only way to be. That's something in common. Yeah, I like your voice, by the way. Well, thank you very much. It's really nice. Congratulations on all your success with Plugged In. Thank you very much, darling. So, yeah, tell me about you, then. About me, I'm from Essex. Mm. I also work a lot. <laughs> yeah. I also run a project. Um, you should just volunteer some time. It's called Pure Love Projects. What's that about? Uh, just doing acts of kindness. So you just do, like, nice things, like feed the homeless, clean-ups and stuff like okay, that. OK, OK. Do you enjoy that, yeah? Oh, I love it. Yeah, all right, that sounds good. I that's what life's about, just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I do a lot of that myself. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to work for the council. You know what I mean? So I was always giving back young kids, young offenders as well, trying to keep people on the straight and narrow, X, Y, and Z. Oh, I like this. Like, good Samaritan. You seem like a good girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see a bit of that in myself. Like, that's what, that's what I grew up trying to do, give back, support. Obviously, she's doing the same thing. It's a vibe right now. I feel like it's clicking. You know what I'm saying? What did you learn about yourself from doing that? When I started, I was very, very young. So I was like 14, 15. So I was at that age, like certain things, I, I learned that not everything's a joke. For certain things, you got a, there's a time and a place for certain things. It kind of made me mature a lot quicker. So was, I'm very grateful for that. But I've done like three years work experience and then I got a job Eden Council and then I've done another like five years there. And then I started focusing on myself. Nice. Yeah. So what made you want to work for the council? Obviously, I grew up in Acton, and what it was for me is that, that obviously I grew up around it. Do you know what I mean? I was never really knee deep in it. I grew up around it. I saw everything going on, and I just felt like, yo, like, there's not a lot for other people to do. If that makes sense. Like, growing up, it was always either be a footballer or sell X, Y, and Z, or commit this to make this. Do you get what I'm saying? And I was just like, there must be a legit way that man can kind of cut through. And then when I found an avenue that didn't have a successful run at the moment. I just thought, yeah, I can try this. Then I managed to try and help people through that same avenue, if that makes sense, and then try and put them on that path. And as my career grow, grew, I was able to help other people grow. Do you see what I'm saying? I like that. So it was like, yeah, like, I'm a big fan in giving back. Like, I've been doing that my whole life. I really love that. Thank you, darling. Really love that. So what was your um, upbringing like? It was hard. I mean, you know, I think Dave said it. Um, sleep for dinner and these things. Yeah, it was, dread, it was dread still, but at the same time, that's what made me who I am. Like, it made me hungry, it made me passionate. That's where the ambition came from, because I can't live like that ever again. And none of my family can ever live like that again, or none of my unborn kids as well, do you know what I'm saying? So it's, 
it's got to be levels up each time. So would you say you're a provider? Yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. It's kind of like, I feel like it's embedded in Mel's. Well, it should be if it isn't, but yeah. Really? Yeah. A family man? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Brothers keep all, look after my family, the whole shebang. Really? Do you find that hard? Like having a lot of pressure to do all that? Yeah, but pressure makes diamonds. And that's when you shine, you know what I mean? Who doesn't love a family man? It's a big tip for me. So why do you call the show Grilling? With the show, I'm going on like, I'm a serial data. <laughs> mm, do you enjoy that now? No, do you know what it is? It's just for me, like with the show, I'm trying to understand men a bit more because for me, I want like stability in my life. That's a whole heap of understanding, man. I find just dating in general in society is like really hard. So that's why I'm using this show to kind of filter through how men think and how they date and how they respond to situations. Okay, so this is more for the public than it is for yourself. I'm filtering through. So now how come you're still single? You mean, we episodes are deep right now. Have, have you seen them? Have you seen the episodes, how they've Not gone? Not all of them, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's why I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> they said no one else cut it? No. That is dread. It is. Obviously, this is entertainment purposes, but in real life, I don't know, man. You can't, you can't go on dates every weekend and date me. Nah. I don't know. Yeah, nah. Nah, that's, yeah, nah. So this is enough for me still. So. It is nice. It's nice to actually have a man make an effort. I mean, I come on the show, beautiful woman, you got to try, you know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you. You look beautiful yourself. Thank you very much. So what do you look for in a woman? Obviously, there's got to be an attraction. So, wait, what kind of women do you go for? And answer truthfully. I don't have, like, a type or a, like, do you get what I'm saying? It's just, if we click, we click. I'm very much a go-with-the-flow person. I don't look for it and be like, you have to look like this, or you have to sound like this, or you have to mix X, Y, and Z money, you have to have this kind of job. All of that is kind of irrelevant to me. If I find an attraction in you, and we click, and we can vibes, and have a good time, and obviously you have self-respect or morals, those things are not negotiable, then we can make something happen still. I was really nice and calm. Okay, what about the women that just want to have fun? That's good for them, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really, I'm not really out here trying to dabble in everyone's ocean and that, you know what I'm saying? Do you not? Nah. Really? So you don't like date loads of women? Nah, I'm not a serial dater still. I'm more of a private person as well, man. So for me, it's a bit, do you know what I mean? What about you though? What do you look for in a man? Honesty, loyalty, integrity. Stability? Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's a lot of what everyone looks for, though. I feel like everyone's looking for the same thing. So why is everyone still complaining? I know, it's hard, because not everyone has this. Uh, you know, and it's a lot easier to go on a date and present yourself with, like, a version of you. Or what, on a date? Yeah, like anyone would. It's like your best foot forward. What's the hardest thing for dating for you? Elaborate. I'm assuming, with, like, your status, it's you get a lot of women throwing themselves at you. Mm. So what's the hardest thing? It's mad. It's, it's difficult to see who's chatting, to, who wants to talk to me for me, or who wants to talk to me for their group chat. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So, so how do you filter that? It's impossible. You just you, you just have to go off gut feeling like, nah, this one seems too excited, or this one seems too blasé, like she just showing her friend, like, yeah, look, he's trying to chat to me, da, 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 da. It's mad, but at the same time, I don't fully think about it, if that makes sense. It's just like, it's a quick thought, like, is she, maybe she's not? Okay, cool, forget, move forward. Whatever, it's not a deep thought process, but it makes it difficult to like, I don't know, it's weird, man. The biggest thing for me is probably going out dating all the time. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it, like, I guess, like, fortunately, the, my career kind of went to places where I didn't expect it to go, and I get stopped when I'm out on the street now, I get pictures, it's a bit much to go. Nando's here, TGI's here, Novikov there, the Shard here, like, yeah, it's all bait. Do you like the fame? I can't, yeah, I mean, like, no one does music and then they're like, yeah, I didn't ever want to be seen. You're in the wrong career, bro. Yeah, for real. Or well. girl, you're in the wrong career, do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, you have to be accustomed to it. And, and to be honest, I appreciate all the supporters. Like, when they're stopping me, I, I'm nothing without them. So, for me, it's like, raw, like, I can make your day, that makes my day. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? No, I like that. Yeah. Um, have you ever had sex with a fan? They might have started off as a fan. Oh, really? Yeah, just might have, but they won't admit that to you, like, oh, if that yeah. makes sense, you know what I'm saying? As far as they're concerned, I didn't know nothing. I was just attracted to you. So, yeah, I don't know. OK. Are have you, you ever had sex with a fan? No. Because you're a public figure now, you got your own fans. I'm sure the guys swarm your DMs. Yeah, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't have sex with a fan? Why not? Why would I? 
But what if the fan was someone that you're a fan of? <laughs> <laughs> My man's spitting bars, yeah? <laughs> Are you active in your DMs? Obviously, if I like you, I'll reply. Do you know what I'm saying? But obviously, if I'm seeing someone, then I'm a bit... It's not going to happen, because for me, I'm one woman to get. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm not really on all of that. No way. I feel like that's like music to my ears. One woman at a time. Good going, Fumes. I'm a musician, that's what I do. Yeah, see? So how do I know you're just not telling me what I want to hear? You don't. Mm, so it's got trust. Yeah. Can like... I trust you? Huh? Can I trust you? That's for you to be your own judgment on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For me, I don't have a reason to sit here and lie to you about anything. I just met you. Did you always want to get into music? Yeah, for sure. Um, kind of grew up on like 50 Cent, Get Rich, Die Try and Eminem 8 Mile. And I saw them, but for some reason, it motivated me to find the other avenues. Because I'm watching those movies and I'm saying, raw, the music thing can work and you can build a lifestyle and, a, and make everyone content off of that. But surely there's a way to do it without having to rap. Yeah. And then that's where I kind of pieced it together and then decided, yeah, this is the avenue I'm going down. This is how I'm going to brand myself. Then that's where I decided, after I brand, branded myself, the name, people knew my name but didn't know my face. Okay. Do you get what I mean? And that's when I decided, all right, cool, I need a show that highlights talent so I can push other people out there and support the youth, but at the same time put a face to the name. And that's where Plugged In came from. I love that. So, yeah. Do you know what, it's so refreshing to see a man that's really confident and secure with who he is and not trying to be this hyper-masculine man. Like, what's put you off? Or... Only fans. Oh, is it? Yeah. Only fans, why? Yeah. Like, I respect if, you, obviously, you're a girl, you want to get money, quick, easy, I respect it, I hear it. But, personally, the kind of figure that I am, in the industry that I am, my girl cannot be on everyone's timeline naked. Just so sorry, that's a myth. Really? Yeah, that's personally for me. I get it. And I respect them not doing it over there. Yeah. But I can't welcome that here and say, yeah, I'm content and happy with that being my, my situation. Do you think the world's changing, though? Because I kind of feel like women are more liberated, like, sexually, with their bodies. So I just feel like we make a lot of allowances for women to be doing that. Women can do what women want to do. Like, they're, you know, like, there's no control. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, it's just everyone's different. There are some guys that are happy for their girl to walk down the road with nothing on but nipple covers. Yeah. And some don't even care about the nipple covers. It's just, yeah, just, mm. just flaunt it all, darling. I want the world to see what yeah, I have. Yeah, some men really love that. They love it. That's them. Not <laughs> so, you. Nah. If I have a daughter, she's not looking up to that, saying, yeah, mummy, look, I'm walking down the road without my top. Look, daddy, mummy does it. That's mental for me. Yeah. Like, the way I was raised, that just, yeah. Understandable. I wouldn't wife a girl that is consist that that gets money for putting her coochie online. No, that's supposed to be man's coochie. Do you get it? It's not for everyone. If it's for everyone, then it's not for me. Okay. Self respect's key. Like you got you got to worship your own body, your own self. Do you know what I'm saying? You got to understand the difference between being for everybody and being for one person. If you can understand those things and you share those morals and that's embedded in you, then we can click still. So what is this anyway? I see, see this on the table. It's nice. Do you drink? Uh, Try it, see what one you like. Small, small. What is that? This one's the black grape. It's actually all right. Try this one. It's like cherry beer. This one's nice. Can I try yours? Yeah, of course. Okay, this one's this one's better. Is it? So this is the Ragart tonic wine. Yeah. Black grapes, the one for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's serious. Cherries are right as well. Yeah, these, I feel like these drinks are always dangerous though. Mm. Yeah, by the end of this, I'll be like, mm. <laughs> Why are you thinking about it? <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Fuck it. Yeah, go on. You do? Wait, put it up? Yeah, they I need, do. They, the people, but the this ladies is, need this, to see this. Yeah, but you know what it is? This is, this is not every, this is very rare. Rare? Yeah, it's proper like, I have to be into you, into you. This is not dates and then, yeah, it's like, do you get it? Yeah. If this happens, you special, special. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's, yeah, it's air. Oh my God, he's actually admitting this. What is going on? 
Ah, but it's good though. It's nice that there's like a man that actually admits it because I find all men deny it. I was thinking about denying it, I won't lie. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll say it with my chest. <laughs> Listen, I think you get more points when you admit it. That's wife treatment. That's not girlfriend treatment. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Like, I'm not that guy. Like, I know guys that are that guy that are just like, yeah, come. I eat the whole fish box. Like, yo, that's mental for me. Like, first date in the club, first taking girls home, yeah, that's mad for me. Longevity, yeah. <laughs> Why do men keep calling it a box? Especially a fish box. Yeah, fish box. You um, also have quite the fan club outside. Oh. Um, Can you hear them? So that's, yeah, yeah. It's, the sorry yeah. to keep cutting you, but. Yeah, no, you, you know what it was, obviously, you lot, you lot had one outside for a minute and the cars in didn't have no tint, so. How do you deal with that? I love them, I love it. Like, it's, it's, it's part of the game. Like, I, I'm here to make people's, make sure music goes out and give them the best version of me that I can. And if they want to stop and meet me and take pictures, I'm not going to be like, oh, no, what are you guys doing? Like, well, that's stupid. I don't understand that. They help me become who I am. They keep me where I am. As soon as I lose them, I lose myself. Yeah, I like that. I'm getting busy with this ragger, though. Yeah. I'll be real. This thing is slapping, man. The ragger's hitting. It's doing what it's supposed to do, I'm telling you. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. The vibe's right. Cheers. What are we cheers into? To the date. Mm. Second date. <laughs> second date? <laughs> Do you mean it's What's like that? the ego? I'm like, you say first. <laughs> What's that? The second date second off camera? Date. Should we go? Yeah, that's it. What kind of place do you like to go to? You seem like a sexy fish kind of girl. Never been. Swear. Yeah, I've never been to like fancy fancy restaurants. What are you, TJ at Friday's Nando's? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with it as well. I'm with it. Whatever. But just have to find a way to. Yeah. I think I'll do like nice restaurants when it's a birthday or an occasion, not every day. Mm. For me personally. It's expensive still. Yeah. It's a myth. You got to put it up. Oh, swear. Why no? You know what? I can only be honest and I can only speak from my own experiences. Any girl that says, yeah, see me, I'm more the friend, I have normally friends on. Do you get like, because I'm just not sure what's going on or how it's moving. I'm, you know what? I don't like confusion. As soon as I start feeling that like I'm unsure, of friend zone. I have friend zone girls that I see just crawling out of the friend zone slowly. Yeah. And I'm just like, yo, I kind of like her though, you know, so I might just let her slip out a bit. No, so for me, it's, it's my experience, obviously not in a relationship yeah. at all, but it's my experience that, you know what? It can't work still. There will come a day when it's like, oh, you look good today. Oh. You know what I'm saying? What well, unless it's like family, then obviously that, that's not even a question. But yeah. so you've got female friends. Yeah. See, a man that actually accepts and understands the value a female friendship can bring. Have you had sex with any of them? All right. Yeah, you see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna answer? Yeah, I have. Wait. Take that back. You slept with them. You have, and you can still keep them as a friend. It's weird though, see, my, see the word friends for me? Like I'm a popular loner, I don't actually have friends like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I have people I work with and then I have acquaintances and I have people I call on to do specific jobs. I don't know, I can't really call them all friends. And then some friends like, the ones that I call friends, I, don't know, I ain't seen one of my friends in like three years. But every now and again we'll hit each other on Insta, and make sure we're good or something. We're still bredgings, but yeah. do you get it? So I don't know. Hmm. What about you? Have you had friends that you slept with? No, not made me think. She slightly double takes on that one, isn't it? She did, so. Were well, you one of those people that you are friends and then you sleep with you sleep with them and then you're not friends no more? If you come into my life as a friend, you stay as a friend. When someone moves to someone, it doesn't start off as a boyfriend, does it? No, of course, I get it. Like everything does start as friendship, but kind of for me, I kind of know what level we're on. Like I feel like if I knew a guy was trying to pursue mm. me, then I would not probably put them in the friend zone because I'm just not going to entertain it at all. And does, does that ruin the friendship? Yeah, I feel like then you just, it just t takes time to cool off. Because with my boy mates, like, I'm very, like, they call me mandem. But then there's times when I'm girly, like, when I'm dressed up, they're like, oh, okay, you look nice, if that makes sense. And then that's when they, the lines tried to get blurred. Sounds like a reoccurring thing, man. It's hard being a woman, genuinely. I can only imagine, you know, you don't can't walk down the street in peace, it's not. It's hard for us. Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> that one's a flag. <laughs> is it? So this is the red flag. 
That's nonsense. Complete nonsense. Really? Mental behavior. I, don't know, I just, I kind of feel like. So why'd you break up? Because we were just friends. Nah, because you lot was doing the. Do you get it? So why'd you break up? I'm just a chilled person, so I kind of feel like my perception of this is just really different. And I'm not saying it's like we're best friends. I'm calling you all the time, but it's just like if I happen to see you out, there's love. That's not friends. That's an acquaintance. That's someone that I knew. We're talking about me and you on a date. Let's say four months in. And I'm just like, hold on, my friend's ringing me. It's my ex on FaceTime at 1 a.m. What? What's going on here? No, but it's bound you don't, like... A Facebook. friend is a friend. You see if my bridging calls me, it's any time, you know? Yo, what's going on? You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm just checking. I just, I just left this club. This is like, happening. Yeah, that's friends. Yeah. What are we talking about? Yeah. Have you ever suffered with mental health? Yeah. Yeah? Even, like, pretty much right now, yeah. Really? Like, yeah, it's been mad. It's been a mad like three, four months for me still. Really? Like, is it anxiety, like depression? All of it. The whole shebang. Like, I know, like, obviously from the outside looking in, I would never try and show that to the public because it's mad when you're a public figure, you're not allowed to be depressed and, 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 and say online, you know what, I'm going through a tough time. Yeah. Like, you're not allowed to voice how you feel. It's kind of mad, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like real life happens. Like I lost a lot of people around me. I felt very betrayed for certain situations. Put me in a, like a, a downward spiral where I was just like, yo, I didn't want to be out. I didn't want to chat to no one. I didn't know who was my real friends and if I even had any. Like it really did play. Mental health is very real. Like growing up, I used to hear about it, like mental health, and I used to be like, it sounds interesting. Yeah. That is very real. Like yeah. yeah. I'm sorry I experienced that. How did you overcome that? Well, how do you like try and overcome that and these obstacles? I mean, I'm still here now. I d part of me is just like, I'm programmed to say the show must go on. And you can sit there and cry all day, not physically, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the end of it, you got to find how you're getting yourself through that situation. Oh my God, season three, we're opening up. Men are opening up and expressing themselves. More of this, please. Sitting there and dwelling on it and being upset about it does not solve the problem. For me, I'm more of a solutions man. So I'm like, I'll sit there, I'll get upset about it and then I'll think, all right, cool, but how do I move on? How do I put it behind me? At what point in my life can I say, close the chapter on that now? Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So for me, it's just about figuring those simple things out. Like, you can try and complicate it, and you will complicate it because it's your own feelings and it's your own mind battling within. That's why it's like mental health. But once you're able to put just simple questions to yourself and simple answers, you should be able to start the right path. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, mental health's definitely not one, one to play with still. Mental health's like something that everyone goes through. It's not just about man. I was just open to share it on this occasion. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, certain people deal with it in their own ways. And I think that as a general public, we need to be a bit more accommodating for it and kind of be open to letting people open up. So with the position you're in, like, is it ever overwhelming? Do you mean in terms of like personal or business? Both, maybe probably just a bit of everything, like getting the balance. Personal, it's not really overwhelming because it's like, you grow step by step and the people around you are kind of there throughout that growth. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like all of a sudden buff. Like that, this. But business-wise, it can be because it's like there's a lot of expectancy. And it's like one thing that I notice is when you're the underdog, they cheer you on to win hard. See, as soon as in their perception of things you start winning, they start looking for chinks in your armour to start pulling you down now. Where, where I am, I feel like I just touched the surface and I'm just getting started. If for some reason, other people feel like I think I'm the man. It is overwhelming when you look at things and you've got a accommodate it for everyone else's opinions and they'll tell you to not pay attention to it, but it's impossible. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? They say, oh, don't read the comments or don't yeah. don't, don't pay attention. Like, come on, how, how do you never read a comment in your life? Come on, stop this. Yeah, but... <laughs> do you get what I mean? Like, I don't know what kind of famous lifestyle you lot are living, but that, that's not possible yeah, like, from where I am. Like, yeah. So what about you? Do you feel overwhelmed? Yeah, I do, do you know what I do for me, because this is all kind of new still, if that makes sense. How long have you been doing this? What, the content? Yeah, how long have you been dating, guys? <laughs> Over, <laughs> how long has it been now? Over a year, year and, year and a half? Is it a year and a half? We began it last January. Yeah, oh my God. So you've been dating for almost two years and you haven't found a guy? 
No. Do, do, do you not think that's a red flag? Mm. It's a sticky one still. It's a red flag to you, but to me it's not because... Two years later? Yeah, because I'm particular. It's kind You're of... looking for Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, like everything, I find people overwhelming in general. Like I'm quite a, I'm an extroverted introvert. I can be around people for small periods of time because then like my social battery will just drain. So. <laughs> so you think it's a you thing? No, it is. Hundred percent a me thing. Okay. Yeah, like she fully held herself accountable, and I feel like it was just that's refreshing. Like you don't see a lot of girls doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's always the man's fault. He was this. He was that. He was this. He was that. She just said, yeah, it was me. That's some gangster shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm with it, so. So don't you think you need to heal or something? I no, I feel like as well, like, with healing, with anything in life, you don't just, like, deal with something and then you're healed. Like, it's, like, you learn to grow and adapt to situations and things. That's facts. Yeah. I like that one, so. What would you do if I had loads of male friends? What would you do if I had loads of female friends? Nothing I could do. I just would have to hope that you're a trustworthy guy and that they are actually your friends. At some point, there's a not start getting petty. How? Uh, say, for example, I'm with my female friends. You want to go on a date, but I'm with my female friends. Then I want to go on a date. You're like, you know what? I'm going to be with my male friends. No, it doesn't do that. But I think it comes to a point of like respect for your partner. Your man would come priority over the other men. Like, I would hope that if I was your woman, that is a, I would be priority. Different. Yeah, of course. But for me, I'd just say it's not the most comfortable of situations. Personally, like, I just feel like it becomes petty at some stage, regardless. You can have your friends, but they just need to know that, yo, like, the same way I tell my, my female friends I'm in a relationship, like, me going to the cinema with you is, is not really what's going to make her feel good right now, do you get what I'm saying? Okay, you seem like you really value like your relationships, which is nice. Yeah, when I'm in one, I'm in one, do you know what I mean? And I try and be as good as I can, like, do you get what I'm saying? And obviously if it goes, if it, if it just doesn't work, then it doesn't work. You gotta get someone on your wavelength. Not yeah. everyone wants what you want. Finally, a man with morals. Very refreshing. What would you do if I was going on holiday every other month with the girls? What's that, hot girl summer? No, just girls holiday. Yeah, it's like hot girl summer. I'm not gonna lie, that's a, that's a, yeah, it's mad. Uh, you gotta flip it around, that. Like. I'd feel weird if you was cool with me going on a boys holiday every other month. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? I'd be like, she's cool and she's calm, but at some point you're gonna be like, rah, like, yeah. how many Dubai trips or how many Miami or Vegas or at some point you're gonna be like, yo, yeah. what about me? What would you do if your family didn't like me? That is a case by case situation. If I've been seeing you for like three years and my mum was like, you know what, there's something about her. I can't tell you what, but there's just something about her. I'll take what my mum's saying on board, but when I'm in love with someone, I'm in love with you and who you are as an individual, do you get? I'm not going to let no one constrain my mind on, you know what, X, Y and Z, but I'm still a big believer in, you know what, listen to your parents. Yeah. So if from the jump, my mum didn't like you and... It, it, <sighs> Do you get what I'm saying? I've got to keep you away from family or whatever. But it also depends on how you react to it. There are some people out there that could be like, no, my mom's not really keen on you. I'll be 100. And if you're like, well, fuck it then, then all right, cool, you're cancelled. Yeah. Do you get? Yeah, if you're like, you know what? Let me, let, me, let me go for a dinner with your mom. Let me sit down with her and let me get to know her and let me ask her, like, what is it about me? Let me try. Yeah, try, try isn't it? Then, then <laughs> might be talking about different things down the line, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is everything all right? Just these. I'll finish mine, so. Do you have another one? Mm -hmm. Can we have another one, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah. James, how do you think the date's gone? Let me ask you. How do you think the date's no, gone? No, no. No, we've done it the first time. You. No, I've got to insist this time. It's on me. <laughs> you insist. It's gone well. Mm. I've had fun. How about you? How well's well? Well. So now what? <laughs> I don't know. Where do we go from here? You tell me. What's the second date? Right, where are we going? France. We're going to France. Mm. To a second date. Mm. Cheers, then. I'm not in this camera thing. I'll take you to Paris for real. <laughs> so, do you fly all women out? Oh, God. Wow. I, hope, oh, I fully opened up for yeah, all of Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm mad. I can't blame these men. Are you going to blame the ragger for mm. mine? Mm. No, no, no. I had a really good time. She's good vibes, man. Brie, nice girl. Different. You can tell she's 
really been on the day and things still. It's a bit of a mad one. I think I might see him again. We'll see. Did you see Sean again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is what I feel like I didn't grill him because he was just nice. I feel like we vibed, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you only grill people that need to be grilled. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, it sounded like we just need another drink. Um, so I thought we got on really well. I, I feel like maybe he was telling me what I wanted to hear. So that's why I'm not going to go too crazy with my point. But he's a nice guy and I like the fact that he's emotionally available. So I'm going to give him a 7.7. .7.